Guys, this might be the best hotel I've ever stayed in. I am so blown away. I don't really stay in hotels. I feel like every single trip I've been on recently, we've just been staying in Airbnbs. Oh, first of all, hi again, welcome back. Welcome to Berlin. Yeah, this is my first time in Germany. I am so blown away by this hotel, first of all. I don't even know like what to do with myself right now. This is so wild. So I'm staying at the KPM Hotel and Residences. Um, so thank you KPM for letting me stay. I have all their information in the description below. I need to go and explore properly because I know they have like a gym, everything. Like just from what we've seen so far, I feel like it's gonna be a good stay. I'm here for two nights. I'm here alone. This is my first solo trip and I feel like it's off to a good start. Well, I say that actually. I'm getting distracted because there's a mirror on the ceiling, which is so wild. I'm obsessed with this interior design. I feel like I'm gonna take pictures for reference for when I'm building my house. So let me run you through what happened this morning. Bit of stress, not gonna lie. I woke up today at like 6, 10. I took the train to the airport. I just got the Stansted Express. The train tickets actually cost more than my flight tickets, which is wild because my flight tickets were like, they were just under 30 pounds return. And my train ticket was 30 pounds return. I had to get to the airport somehow and I was not getting a taxi. Last time I got a taxi, it was 70 pounds one way. But it all depends on the time of the flight, obviously, because sometimes the tubes don't run at that time. But anyway, got on my flight, everything was so smooth. The flight was so short. It left at like 10.45 and landed at 12. It was crazy short. I had a little nap, woke up, and they were like, oh, we're landing in 15 minutes. I was like, absolutely perfect. Super quick through, what's it called? Immigration, where they check your passports. No one at any point checked COVID certificates. I only had my COVID certificate checked when I got to the hotel. That was the first time anyone, even in England, that was the first time I was asked. I'm traveling with just a backpack, if you're wondering why I don't have a suitcase. Um, I'm only here for two nights and I'm not paying for extra luggage. But yeah, I got to the airport and then there were like fire alarms at the airport and they were like, everyone leave the airport ASAP. <laughs> so I quickly rushed to my nearest exit. I wasn't really panicked to be fair, just because, you know, they have it under control. We were waiting outside of the airport for, I wanna say maybe like half an hour before we were allowed back in. So small inconvenience, but as long as no one's hurt, it's so fine, do you know what I mean? So went back in and then the drama started because then I had to figure out how to use the transport system, which I thought going to other European countries, it would be similar to that, which it is, but it's just a bit more complicated in my opinion. But I don't know if it's just because I'm alone and it's only like one brain trying to figure it out but it's good to learn i used city mapper for the first time don't ask me why i haven't used it before i ride or die for google maps <laughs> but you know city mapper is starting to give me superior vibes because it was even giving me directions when we were inside the airport like where to go inside buildings which is outstanding anyway finally figured it out after a while made it to kpm so excited to explore the hotel and then go explore berlin i'm just gonna get myself together i didn't have lunch because obviously i was you know trying to figure out this solo travel thing for the first time so we'll just have like an early dinner i'm looking forward to it though i'm just so happy to be in berlin this is so wild okay let's go enough talking <laughs>
Okay guys, it's 9 p.m. I'm back in my hotel room. I went to dinner, loved it by the way. Of course I found churros on the first night. If you don't know me, churros are like my favorite thing ever. So thoroughly enjoyed that. I've just decided I really want an early night. I want to chill because I've got a jam packed day tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to be like too tired, too jet lagged. Obviously not jet lagged, but yeah, that's the plan. I'm probably going to chill, watch some TV. I don't have a TV at home. So this is like so luxury for me. <laughs> To be fair, I was never allowed a TV in my room growing up So maybe that's just like a habit that's stuck and I just never thought to buy a TV I've noticed some more things about this hotel room that I love the smart features I love electronics and I love the smart home features. I want a smart home so bad I want to make the most of this hotel room because it's so beautiful But then at the same time you want to make the most of like seeing the actual place you're in But yeah, I'm gonna change into one of the robes. I've seen they have robes and then chill <laughs> Guys, a bit later than I anticipated, but we move. Let's get ready for breakfast super quick and head down. finished breakfast it's time to leave the plan of action i want to go to all of the like monuments right now like in the morning so like i'll get the train over there it's like a 20 minute journey i've got an exhibition booked at 2 30 called dark matter it looks so cool i can't even describe it you just have to wait and see and there's so many museums i saw a museum of espionage as in like a spy museum so best believe i'm going there i don't know if i'll go there today that might be on the other side of berlin so i'll see how it looks map wise i should also mention that i'm using the berlin welcome card to go to a lot of these attractions you can get free transport which i think is so handy because i can just hop on hop off whenever you only need to validate the ticket once and then you're sorted for like 72 hours or however many hours you decide to purchase the ticket for and then a bunch of discounts and a bunch of like free entry to a load of attractions so i'm basically planning my trip with this as well as a bunch of other things so yeah thank you so much to visit berlin for gifting me this welcome card highly recommend checking it out if you're ever in berlin i feel like it just makes planning so much easier and you save a bunch of money as well so amazing so yeah let's head out we don't want to waste any more time but yeah let's go so first i went to the brendenburg gate this is probably one of the most famous monuments in germany throughout history it's been a site for major historical events and today it's basically a sign of european unity and peace and then i went to the imperial parliament building and the building basically reflects the struggle between dictatorship and democracy in germany and fun fact the capital of germany moved from bonn to berlin in 1999 Alright guys, it is so cold today by the way. I'm so glad I brought these. I've just gone to see outside the parliament. There's a really cool river here and then I can see the TV tower over there. But I've just checked maps and I actually need to make my way to the east side gallery now so that I can potentially get something for lunch on the way and then go to the exhibition in good time. But yeah, so far so good, loving it. So the Eastside Gallery once was the Berlin Wall, which I'll talk about later on, but it's now the longest open air gallery in the world. It's 1.3 kilometers, which is outstanding.
So on my walk, I found an Aldi. I'm almost at the Dark Matter exhibition. This saves me so much time because I was low-key stressed trying to think, where do I go for lunch? Because it's already almost 2.30. So I got two bread rolls, some oranges, a couple bananas. If I ever feel a bit snackish, I can just <laughs> munch on that. I'm really enjoying just exploring. And this is definitely one of those things that isn't as touristy. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it is. Okay, so this exhibition is so cool. It's basically described as a multi-dimensional parallel world of light, space and sound. There are different pitch black rooms in a converted factory and you basically walk through them and experience all these light installations which are said to blur the boundaries between the real and the digital world. And I can confirm it definitely felt like that. It was so cool. Did you notice when I passed you yesterday that I was frozen? Thinking, flashing back, I can't live in. My darling, I love you, 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 All right, guys, I've just finished at the Body Worlds Museum. I'm making my way to the TV tower now. It's literally right there. That museum was so interesting. I'll talk to you about it probably later, but I'm so blown away. Like, I remember telling my dad that I was going there and he was like, oh yeah, like I've heard amazing things and it's just so insightful. My booking for the tower is in like five minutes. So I'm gonna rush there. They're right next to each other. So it's just super quick and easy. I only had like an hour there, but I could have easily spent like an hour and a half, two hours because I had one of those audio guides. So I was just listening. It was so cool. But yeah, anyway, we'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> Little update. I just had to do a COVID test because to go up the tower, they, they're basically operating on this thing, which is called 2G+. You need to have two vaccinations and then a COVID test as well. It was free, completely free, 15 minutes. Um, they'll email me the results. So when I went over there, she said that I can just go up anytime because I have the ticket already and it's I'm not going to the restaurant. So if you're going to the restaurant, definitely make sure you have your COVID test and all of that done in good time. But if you're just going to the observation deck, it's like a bit more flexible. It's currently 10.30, I've been to breakfast, I need to go back to the lobby at 10.40 because I'm meeting one of the women from the hotel and she's giving me a full tour. I'm so excited for today. I'm gonna go to the Spy Museum. I wanna go to a museum all about the wall, but I had never even like caught up with you guys about yesterday. So after I went to all the monuments, I went to the East Side Gallery, which was so amazing. I couldn't even believe the amount of talent that was just free to see. They were all amazing, but I did have my favorites. And then I went to the Dark Matter exhibition. So cool. I loved how immersive it was. Like we were lying on the ground, staring at the displays on the ceiling and stuff. It was just so sick. I've noticed that Berlin is just a really creative city. And then I went to the Body Worlds Museum, which I could not recommend enough. If you're ever in Berlin, this needs to be high up on your list of things to see. I really wish stuff like this was accessible for everyone because the information that they're sharing is so valuable. I bought an audio guide for two euros 50. Honestly, so worth it. I was just standing there listening to all the descriptions, learned about bones, muscles, the way the brain works. And obviously you guys know I'm studying like a bit of neuroscience in neuromarketing. And I uploaded a video where I was basically seeing if I would be more productive if I exercised every day. And there was a part of this museum which explained that even if you walk for 20 minutes, the hour after you finished, your brain is more active in those regions that help you focus and stuff. A section about the development of a baby, a section about stress, how stress affects your body. It was just so amazing. So I really loved that. And then I went to the TV tower, just like a standard observation deck kind of thing, but it was so nice. And then I went to dinner and don't come for me for going to a chain place or somewhere I could have gone in England. Okay, this is my first time solo traveling and I'm still 
feel very much out of my comfort zone when it comes to sitting in a restaurant alone. I can go to galleries, I can do activities by myself, no problem. But when it comes to sitting in a restaurant, I don't know, like I'm a bit more comfortable with it now, but I'm still not 100% comfortable with it. I don't know, it depends. Like some places you don't really feel awkward and some places you do. But overall, I'm loving it. It feels so welcoming. I feel so safe. Everyone is so nice. Everyone is so kind. Obviously just being black, <laughs> you're always wary going to a new place. But I can honestly say that my experience so far has been nothing but friendliness. But yeah, I need to go. It's 38. So I'm just gonna take everything with me and head out and enjoy the rest of the day. So the KPM Hotel is basically 250 years of design history, but in a modern adaptation. I love how they've got all these details from the history coming through in the rooms. The building belongs to the Royal Porcelain Factory and there are so many porcelain details integrated throughout the hotel. I think it's genius. All right guys, I've finished at the hotel. Absolutely amazing. I obviously loved it so much already, as you saw. But now after hearing the history, getting to see all of the other rooms, because they're all so unique, like no two rooms are the same. It's just like I've fallen in love with it all over again. The woman who was showing me around has given me some suggestions of places to go. So I'm gonna start my day of exploration now. Um, I've got all my stuff, i.e. my backpack. <laughs> but yeah, loving it. Let's continue with the day and we'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> Okay, I don't care what anyone says, throughout these two hours I spent at this spy museum, I felt like I was a spy in training. <laughs> it was so cool. There were examples of real life missions, videos from spies, interactive missions that you could complete, all of the gadgets that they were using. There was just so much information there. And a lot of the stuff you would only picture in movies, like James Bond, for example, but it was so real. And there was also a laser maze that you could do. <laughs> I have just finished at the Spy Museum. So cool. Right now, I'm gonna go to the Checkpoint Charlie Museum and that's all about the wall. So really interested, but yeah, loved that place. I wish I could spend all day in there, but I need to just get on with the day. And this Checkpoint Charlie Museum is only like a 15 minute walk away from the Spy Museum. So I'm just walking there now. I think it's almost like 2 p.m., which is quite concerning because that means I don't have much time left. I'm also so happy that I went to Aldi yesterday because i don't want to stop for lunch now obviously i went to a cafe earlier but i still have like a banana and an orange that i can have so yeah i'm gonna have that on the way so in this area, there are so many museums about the wall. My personal favorite area was the Panorama exhibition. It showed the everyday life of people in Berlin with the wall and you could really immerse yourself in the installation. I'm on my way to the town square. I just finished going to some of the museums around there. There's quite a few different exhibitions all around that area where like Checkpoint Charlie is, the black box and all of that. Really interesting learning about everything that happened. But yeah, I'm gonna find my way to the main square. I've got another museum booked at 4 p.m. and that'll probably be my last activity before having dinner and then heading to the airport because I don't wanna be late. And the one I've got booked at 4 p.m. is like an immersive experience, so like virtual reality, uh, taking you through the whole journey of the wall and stuff, so yeah. This time ride experience was also really cool. We were on a bus wearing a virtual reality headset and we got to choose someone to follow through Berlin during the time where the wall existed. And it just went through the history and you got to really understand it more. So 
currently in the airport. It's not even 9 p.m. yet, and my flight is at 10.15. So, I'm very early. I literally got here, went through security within like 15 minutes. And by the way, everyone is so nice. All the security, the nicest security I've ever met. But yeah, uh, I'm here. I'm just gonna wait until my flight. But yeah, that's basically it. I can't believe how quickly this trip has come to an end there you have it that is the end of my trip to berlin thank you guys so much for watching i had such a great time i feel like it was a really successful first solo trip let me know what your favorite part was and where you'd want to visit in berlin in the comments and if you did enjoy don't forget to like comment subscribe turn notifications on so you don't miss any videos all my social media links will be in the description as well so if you got this far definitely make sure you follow me but yeah thanks again for watching hope everyone has a great week ahead i'm gonna go now but i'll see you next time so bye